Welcome to our channel, where you can find the most recent information and untold tales about Princess Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her family. We have breaking news today. The Princess of Wales, stunned in a festive maroon dress and pumps as she attends Westminster Abbey's Together at Christmas Carol service. Princess of Wales, Princess Catherine, was decked up for her Together at Christmas annual service, which will be filmed this evening and shown on Christmas Eve in the UK. The princess looked stylish in a maroon coat dress with a wrapped shape, long sleeves and a calf-length hem as she arrived at Westminster Abbey for the event. The accessory was worn with glittering vertical ruby and diamond drop earrings and a handbag with a texture like that of a lizard skin. Middleton wore pointed toe heels, which are her go-to style for public occasions as her footwear. Her shoes have maroon uppers made of soft suede with trapezoidal toes and closed counters. Thin stiletto heels with a total height of 4 inches added a sudden height boost to the appearance, echoing the variety of colours and textures she'd worn of the design throughout the years. Previously in the day, the Duchess opened the Christmas season with a teaser trailer for the special clad in creamy Fair Island sweater by Holland Cooper with black pants and sparkly circular drop earrings. Catherine is frequently spotted in pointed toe shoes by Emmy London, Jimmy Chu, and Stuart Weitzman, among others. Her go to look is Jam Vito Rossi's 105 pumps, which she has in five different hues. In addition to her royal cycle of heels, the princess frequently uses inexpensive sneakers from New Balance, Vasia, Supergar, and Zara on and off duty. Royal carols together at Christmas, hosted by Middleton, will gather together royal family members with charity staff, community volunteers, frontline workers, military people and others to embrace the joy that sense of connection can offer. The show will run on ITV1 on Christmas Eve. The family matched their attire with the Princess of Wales and Charlotte matching in burgundy jackets while William and George looked so good in black coats and dark suits. Several other members of the British royal family joined the recording of royal carols together at Christmas, which also will air on the Christmas Eve in the UK. William's father, King Charles III, was there, as well as Queen Camilla, Princess Eugenie, Princess Beatrice and William's aunt Sophie, Countess of Wessex. Catherine's parents, Carol and Michael Middleton, joined her sister, Pippa Middleton, during the service. Last year, the princess organised her first Christmas performance, which she dedicated to first responders and organisations from throughout the UK that helped the country during the coronavirus outbreak. However, at the 2021 event, all of the Cambridge youngsters were at home. The princess arrived about 4.20pm, smiling and calm. She met clerics at the door of the monastery before heading inside, where she spoke with attendees and joyfully high-fived youngsters. While joking and laughing with the attendees, Catherine was heard addressing musician Alfie Bow regarding his own musical talents, adding she needed more time singing. Somewhat on piano, you can conceal a little more than you can sing, she explained. Honestly, my children would just not forgive me. I'm not sure that they believe I've got a truly outstanding soulful voice. I'll need to take some classes. Catherine spoke with fighter Nicola Adams, Melanie C and Craig David, as well as musician Alexis French. Catherine said she realises how hectic this time of year should be for everyone, as she told them she was hugely thankful for their involvement. Catherine also met up with relative members including Princess Eugenie and Beatrice before stepping back outside to meet her husband and two children who came before 5pm. When Catherine welcomed her family outdoors there were applause and screams of Catherine we love you and Prince William we love you from people in attendance. 
During the event, William delivered an excerpt from the late Queen Elizabeth II's Christmas Address from 2012. More than 1,800 protesters crowded at the Abbey for the performance, performed to honour the selfless efforts made by individuals, communities and families across the UK, and embraced the display of joy that sense of connection and unity can provide. The second carol concert was devoted to the late Queen and the virtues she displayed throughout her life, including obligation, empathy, belief, service, generosity, compassion and care for others, according to Kensington Palace. Those qualities are shared and represented by the remarkable guests who have been welcomed to the Abbey in honour of their relentless commitment to the support and care for people around them, according to the Palace. The Abbey's Christmas tree was covered with little Paddington Bear ornaments, a tribute to the late Queen's famous drawing, and guests were met with dramatic snowflakes from a snow machine as they entered. The occasion was attended by the Countess of Wessex, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, and the Duke of Kent and Princess Alexandra. Catherine also received the encouragement of her parents Carol and Michael Middleton, her sister Pippa and her partner James Matthews, and younger brother James and his partner Alizé. The event this year occurred with the publication of Part 2 of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's docudrama, Harry and Meghan, on Netflix earlier on Thursday. The Duke of Sussex, 38, and the ex-actress, 41, described where matters are with William and Catherine, following their January 2020 choice to step aside as senior royal family members during the final three episodes of the drama. The Invictus Games creator claimed he doesn't expect his father, 74, and brother would ever truly resolve their concerns with him. I've got to come to terms with the idea that we're unlikely to ever receive meaningful responsibility or an explanation, the retired military pilot added. My wife and I are leaving. We're concentrating on what comes next. He revealed in episode 6 that he misses the strange family reunions he had with his relatives before his departure. To be a member of the institution meant that I was in the United Kingdom. Thus, I love the United Kingdom, he explained. I'm missing my buddies. Pinion, pinion, pinion. Thank you for watching the video. What do you think of her appearance tonight? Please share your thoughts. Goodbye for the time being.